Right after I bought my sewing machine, I broke some pieces of the veneer on the table. I stored them and glued them together, but I realized that I don't have all the pieces. So to fix the table, I will pull the machine towards me and remove the metal support and the rubber piece on the back. Then I will put scotch tape on the back side of the machine. It will help me to make the corner and keep the machine clean. I will use wood putty to fill up the hole where the veneer is broken. I think this is both the cheapest and the best way to fix it. You just need to apply some putty and spread it so it's leveled with the rest of the veneer. You can also apply more putty than needed and file it away later. I will apply a bit more than needed. If the hole is big, you may need to apply several layers of putty. This hole is not too big, so I can remove the duct tape right away, the putty will stay in place. I will repeat the same steps to fix the broken piece on the other side, but instead of duct tape, I will use a newspaper. Make sure to brush all dust before applying the putty. While the putty is drying off, I will use some rubber shelf lining to elevate the machine. I will cut two pieces with the same shape for the back side of the machine. The putty is dry and I will file it down so it's leveled with the veneer. I'm using a cheap nail file. Now I will place the shelf liner, then the rubber piece and finally I will put the metal support piece. I had to ask someone to help me because the machine is very heavy. I decided to put rubber lining under all the rubber pieces. So I cut more pieces of it the same way. The machine will be elevated by 2 mm and when I'm tilting it, the back side won't be able to touch and broke the piece again. When the machine is tilted, you can easily push the oil pan up and insert the pieces of the shelf liner. That's all for today, hope this video is helpful, thank you for watching and see you in my next one!